Welcome to your Inspirational Astrology Horoscope for this weekend of October 28th through the 29th, 2023. I'm Astrologer Dave Palmer, the Leo King here to illuminate the collective consciousness. Well, lunar eclipse time, happy full moon. Hope everybody's staying as grounded as possible here through these times. Sending you legitimately the best energy because I know that... The astrology we're going to cover today, these are, these are such intense times that you consciously might not even be able to fathom it still at this moment. None of us will look back and go, whoa. Now, I just want to say, if you are not on High Vibe TV, of course, you're missing out on my daily horoscopes like this every day and my weekly shows and all the different horoscopes, the schools that I do and so forth. So please join me at HighVibe.TV especially with where things are at right now, especially with YouTube and all the new censorship ship that the censorship shit that is happening. You might not even know all of it, but you should look into it. So especially what's happening to astrologers right now. And I will take before I go into this horoscope, a reminder of what I've been saying for years. And as my predictions, for these moments and times astrologically when they would finally come, which are here, that if you are into spirituality, if you are into anything that is quote unquote now labeled as the occult, they are after us now. There are tons of people coming after us. They are calling us demons. They are calling us quote unquote unpure. And they are literally, I don't want to remind people of that in the times that we're in, are the same times astrologically as also the beginnings of World War II and how many people were rounded up and thrown away without knowing what happened to them, put in prisons. And so it's a very important time for people to stay very, very vigilant and understand what is going on right now and that it is not just some time to where your friend that does tarot, your friend that's an astrologer is truly as safe as usual ever that whole world we live through is done and it's going to be very important for people to speak up very important for people to not fall for all these crazier spells we are out of the lobby of the last three and a half years so i want to re remind people of that and i think that's extremely important so people are saying it's not playing on high vibe yeah, I mean, we are. Hold on one sec here. I haven't gone live from this computer now, I think, in like a month. So. Yeah, hold on one sec. The stream, it was just the stream key. It was the wrong stream key. So. There we go. If you're on high vibe, just refresh. They've been hearing all this stuff, though, so they didn't miss anything. All right, let's go into this lunar eclipse horoscope this weekend. Uh, it's dead, But, you know, with what I'm saying, I have all the videos. I have all the stuff you can watch here on my YouTube channel, or you can watch pretty much anywhere my, where my stuff's copied. All my lectures, me saying this moment here, And, and for one second, you know, if you think, oh, that can't happen, you're deeply mistaken. All right. Let us see what is going on out there. There is a lot. Actually, hold on. Let me make an adjustment here. I really have not been on this computer. Jeez. I don't like these borders and stuff like that. Um, I need to be over here. There we go. 
All right. So this is a lot of Scorpio. It's massive Scorpio season. And that is dispositing Pluto and Capricorn. So before I'm even going to go into this lunar eclipse, I want people to remember Pluto is in Capricorn. Pluto is already stretching us because none of us that are alive right now have felt Pluto stay in the same sign as long as it has. We started Pluto in Capricorn in 2008. Here we are in 2023 and Pluto is still in Capricorn. Go back to Sag. Go back to especially Scorpio, Libra, where it's at its fastest. Go back to Virgo. It's not there that long. Go back to Leo. It's not there that long. If you're born with Pluto Cancer, okay, that's where it starts getting longer. But that's because that's where it pops its head back out. We have to remember that this is a very extreme moment. That's the farthest planet out. The other one is Eris. And the North Node is exactly conjuncting Eris. And we've been seeing that over this last, especially, three weeks, ironically enough. And this is extreme times when it comes to Number one, how are we going to use this power and life force energy? How are we going to use this energy to where, I don't know, we don't fall like sheep and use it for dark and for bad. We don't need to try to beg ourselves to invite ourselves into extreme negativity and darkness. This is a full moon lunar eclipse in Taurus. The moon's exalted here in Taurus. This is our last Taurus eclipse until we get to the south node eclipses that will be happening next decade. Now, we have Jupiter Uranus with this lunar eclipse. Both, of course, are retrograde here in Taurus. We have Uranus that's sitting at 2142 minutes. If you go look up the September 1st, 1939 chart, the day that World War II officially started with Nazi Germany invading Poland. It was at 21 degrees retrograde Taurus in the same phase we are in and 54 minutes, which we saw this week when things got really deeper and more weird. Now, I'm not going to use this horoscope to tell you this is World War III. I've made the predictions back in 2020 that it already had started when Mars retrograded in Aries. And you will see more over the next year come out that this has already been going on for three years. That your whole, if you fell for that pandemic, I'm sorry, I have no negative energy towards you. But I do feel sorry that you, you were already in a world war. You were already being used to understand how to execute it how to set the laws in different countries and how to pull different resources and more importantly the cyber attacks that happened then that's why battle of the gods 2 is out you can get it on highvibe.tv and if you're a subscriber on high vibe you can watch one but this lunar eclipse is in a very big opposition to mars Mercury, and of course the sun that are happening in Scorpio. Mars is in its home sign. So again, Mars is at home in Scorpio. Pluto's in Capricorn. These are not nice energies. Now, are they powerful? Yeah, but they could be used in the most extreme ways. Mercury, the neutral planet, doesn't get so neutral when it's sitting with the malefic. And they're both going to be coming into a conjunction hours after this lunar eclipse on Saturday. And they will conjunct in direct opposition to Jupiter and Taurus. Now, the positive in this is I know that we're feeling like so many things in life are weird. Saturn is retrograde, of course. One of the slowest planets now in literal almost station, as we will see it come direct on November 4th, midnight in two minutes. Pacific time. But if we really think about it, we are in the most unknown, weird, in between territory of all time. This is also Saturn, and I probably don't have it on here, but we know about Regulus, the star, the fixed star, 
that sits on the ecliptic that's always been in Leo moved in 2012 to zero Virgo. And so Saturn's directly in opposition to Regulus and just standing here and stopping and looking at it, which in many ways makes more sense for what we're seeing today of this battle in light and dark and that weird in between space. But I want to remind people that how do we bring our life force into this reality again? We're tired. We've gone through so much, but there's way more in the tank within you. The physical reality now needs all of us and our best energy to put our life force, to put our energy to, to help make change here. That's why we are all here on this planet. This is where you're going to have to realize that the fruits of this reality are the fruits that your amazing abilities that you are unique with and that really is, if I were to use Jupiter Uranus, I've been saying jackpot, but you could also use it as your gold mine. Your gold mine of all your talents and skills here are here to, to help create and be the bridge. This is a very big bridge moment here of bringing so much that Scorpio brings. It's a life force energy. It's a regenerative energy. So we can rejuvenate ourselves in this one. And there's a nice aspect here with this moon and Jupiter. But with Mars and Mercury in opposition, this is beliefs logic in huge opposition this is also theology philosophy ideas conspiracies collusion all these things with mars in direct opposition to jupiter and mars is going to win mars is in its home sign and it's got mercury and so it is where we cannot convince ourselves to believe in the dark right now jupiter in taurus this lunar eclipse in taurus this north node in Aries with Eris again. This is another war position, the planet Eris. And you look at the charts of where Eris was back at these degrees, and you get to some of the most wild moments we ever saw in the 1500s. You know, and it's about invasions just as much as the Venus retrograde in Leo was that we just finished. And that on the day of October 7th left shadow and hours before it left shadow. What happened in the world? I know it could be scary for people during these times. Jupiter is still in a semi square to Neptune. So you are getting blasted with propaganda right now. It's already happened with the Uranus semi square Neptune from 2018 all the way through the last like couple years when it finally started to separate but now it's Jupiter Neptune this is going to be the new news is going to be religion news propagandas that are based off religion be careful on top of that Chiron itself in Aries now back to 16 degrees we saw it retrograde at 19 and about 57 minutes but Chiron in semi-square to Saturn that stopped. Now, with Saturn stopped here and Chiron, this is difficult. This is a difficult moment when you look at these semi-squares. You look at all these oppositions. You even look at Neptune, of course, that's still in a quincunx over to the south node. And then you look at this Mercury and Mars together, and we got a sussy quadrant to those. So there's a lot of misguided energy with passions going too far in the dark, taking our logic or critical thinking into wanting to be into anger or disgust and using the, the negative effects of this Mars and Scorpio. These are very defining times with the Sun and Mars and Scorpio because those are the two energies that represent identification and masculinity. But in a feminine side in here, fixed Scorpio, it could be very wanting to define for the, the shadow side of things, which of course deal with jealousy or revenge or any of these darker energies. And with Neptune and Sessi quadrant here to this Mercury Mars, very misguided, especially with Saturn and Chiron in that semi-square. It becomes a place to where people just really want to allow the victim mentality within themselves by not becoming who they really want to be in life, by 
discouraging their own selves. And this is where that Jupiter can really come in of, you know, people lack their own quality of believing in how great they are. How many people in the world today can't even put their own picture as their profile picture online, right? They have to put on a TV personality. The fact is, I, I, I have astrologers attacking me on Twitter right now because of how I look when they won't even put up their own picture of how they look. They'll put up some movie star. We are in a world of people who are hurt. There's atrocities happening. But at the same time, whether you're in those or not, you got you to gotta use this lunar eclipse to remind yourself that you are special, to remind yourself that you have not just something, but you have everything that you were born into this life with to bring, to be a bridge, to bridge the light, to bridge the positivity, and to use the Scorpio, not for this dark energy, but for this regen the regeneration and the, the power of bringing that life force energy into this physical. And those physical attributes have to be your talents, your skills, and the grace of creating something and building something. This is where creative powers and the things that we can create to be and to, to offer to this world are everything. That's what Jupiter and Uranus are here about. But it's really easy with Jupiter and Neptune in semi-square, with Neptune in quincunx to the south node, in sesi quadrant to this Mercury-Mars, that are both, of course, in opposition to Jupiter, to let people get sucked into this religious war, pick their religious side, and believe that their only value and their only saving grace, which is super misguided, is, is, can only be saved through attaching to these places. Taurus and Scorpio are very attachment styles. The attachment styles of how you were attached when you were an infant to your mother, and also the attachment style that you have to how great of a person you are and whether you use that energy to do something and know how to pow the power to attract it, to create it or not. A lot of people have really weak attachment styles or were attached negatively in their life. A lot of people right now are just willing to look for anything to grab onto, while at the same time, many others don't know where to go with Saturn stopped here and stationed in Pisces at zero degrees. If you were to take that Saturn and you were to use Antesia, it puts it over to 29 and, a, and 20. To 29, 28 Libra. And we've seen so many big things. Of course, the South Node solar eclipse that was two weeks ago in Libra and Mars that was there at 29 degrees. And at the same time, still makes big squares Antesia wise to Pluto. This is also a very weird lunar eclipse, even though it's in Taurus, we have the North Node in Aries. And so if you were to take the midpoint of this, 6 and 5 is 11, 5 and a half, add 5 and a half to 24, 29 Libra or Aries, and that was where the solar eclipse was this spring was at 28. But what's crazy is you put the midpoint of this lunar eclipse with the North node and Eris and you put it at 29, that's squaring Pluto. And that's actually in direct opposition to the Antigia of Saturn. This, this is a moment where if I were to prepare people for, it's like to not be afraid. Number one, cause Scorpio here, we're facing our fears facing our fears of a world that's out of control with Jupiter and Uranus here. Last time we saw Uranus retrograde at 21 degrees was 1939 World War II. I know a lot of people are freaking out. You have to remember you signed up for this and it's about what we're going to create here, what we're going to make through this and how we're not going to, if you fell for the last three and a half years, it's time to get off that team. Everybody's got their hands wide open, our souls open, no judgment. But the last three and a half years was a, was a wake up call. You know, this isn't about picking some sort of side that's even being broadcasted. This is about picking the side of humanity, period. That's it. Just all humans. And that's, what's the difficult part, you know, is you're going to see religious war, Saturn and Neptune and Pisces. Look what happened 
just even with some of the bans that just happened in the Netherlands. I've been telling you all this all year. Look, it's 1523, the last time Saturn and Neptune were in Pisces and actually made their conjunction. Same thing, Pope banning things that were happening in the Netherlands. Just start using astrology. You start using the history. This is not, this is us crossing over a place we can't even fathom. The life, the, the, the world that you had thought was, is no longer. And already had been that way. The fact that in 2020, when just on January 12th, when Saturn, Pluto, the Sun and Mercury made their conjunction, guess what? That was the end of time and what you thought it was. If you've been still holding on to wanting things to always keep going that way, to still see the way the post office will still work and to still get your social security check and to still see it, look at, just look around. You know, this is us letting go of value systems and beliefs that we thought would run forever. Life evolves and it changes. And it's evolving to a place that where we as the people, Uranus with Jupiter and this lunar eclipse, can change the course of it. Or are we going to let people get sucked into this Neptunian in Pisces with Saturn there? If anything, Saturn's trying to help. Like, Stop getting lost into some of the psycho religious shit right now. And when I say religious, I'm not talking about spiritual. I'm talking about formed religions that are not even truly being close to truth. They are literally lying. They know it. They won't show you it. And they'll make you believe it. Right? Like, because it's all going to be a trap. Everything that you're seeing right now is a trap. You can see it everywhere. And this is about you not being in that trap. This is you also subconsciously realizing, you know, my stability of my talents and gifts and knowing why I came here. This is, this is something that the divine connects to you with. God speaks directly to you. Astrology, this is a tool. This is a way of understanding the language of God. And it's not through the most fucking worst king in the fucking world who made a Bible that everybody fucking follows today. That version, and even the versions prior that fucking, you know, most people don't even know there's a whole book of Apocrypha in there. And they don't even know what that word means. It means hidden. And they don't even know why it's in there. Like the, the fact that we are in a world right now that I've never seen such astrology, and this was my biggest warning for the last six, seven years. Why do you think I did Age of Deception? We're here. The biggest deception you've ever seen in life is all the things you're seeing in the media, and now you are watching a takeover of the media by religion. And if you value that, God bless you still, right? All good. But just know that there's a trap. And I don't know how much longer people like me will be around. Because the number one thing Hitler came after was astrologers and the occult and people who made predictions to reveal this stuff. The same takeovers that he was doing were all religious too. The astrologers said, hey, what the fuck? Look at this, look at this. Boom, gone. And Moretti and other astrologers, but I'm already getting attacked every day. It's insane. So if you like astrology, if, if, if you think all this stuff is really beautiful and it's great and it can help in the collective, well, it's time for you to not back any of this fucking media craziness. And if you hear people start saying, oh, the occult's evil and all that stuff, are you going to do the right thing? And I'm asking you, since I've given everything that you're watching, if you're watching this on YouTube especially, not on High Vibe because you guys all support like motherfuckers, you know, but it, you know, I've been on this fucking YouTube page for fucking a long time. 
this year I think it'll be 12 years on this this YouTube all the fucking thousands of videos and horoscopes all I'm asking and I'm not, I don't ask anything of you but if I were to ask one thing is I dare you to sit in front of I don't care what religion it is on this planet when they tried to go astrology spirituality I dare you to have to say something back and tell them don't them they dare become anti-spiritual because it's happening like a plague and it's coming from the right and the left And I, I warned you all, you'd see so many astrologers and people on YouTube that do tarot and stuff bail out because they didn't get enough views or people didn't vibe with them and then go, I'm going to this fucking religion and I'm going to go talk about that to stay alive. And they're all former people who did this work thinking that they got caught up by the devil. It's just because they want to make money as I used to be in this. So I know what it's like on the inside. And I was realizing it was making me evil. It's like those people were already evil in themselves. You, you're evil in yourself by just being a, a bad human being. It's not because of what religion you're in or what religion you're not in or what spiritual practice you're using or not using. It's one of those things to where when you look at this eclipse in Taurus, it's, it's grounded in understanding the sage within you, the one that continues to keep putting in your greatest talents and skills which is our soul into the embodiment of that and doing something with it something for others for humanity we all have our own ways but this is a this is a moment not to be scared but it's a moment to realize that This ain't, this ain't about politics anymore, even though the irony is it still is. Saturn and Pluto met in Capricorn. Pluto's still in Capricorn. Saturn is so close to coming back to within 30 degrees of Pluto that it feels like, uh-oh, is it all going to go down again? It's not going to go down the way it did in 2020, okay? But with what ha what's happening now, you are now watching Neptune... And I'll make this very clear. Go do your astrological homework. Because unfortunately, we live in a world that, you know, a lot of astrologers don't use these aspects. But there it is. 25 degrees. There's Jupiter retrograding back to 5 degrees, which is even more interesting. That Jupiter will retrograde back to the exact degree of this eclipse and come direct on New Year's Eve. Saturn stopped. We're not seeing it move. And that's with Chiron. And Chiron's coming to the end of its retrograde soon. And so this is where people are so wounded, they're willing to just go on a knee and, you know, think that somebody at a Dairy Queen who hands them some crazy fucking ideology and religion to come join will save them. And maybe it will i'm not trying to be a religion hater but let's not forget who kills all of us that do the spiritual work the religions this is salem times a million coming and i'm not afraid to say it Because I remember a reality where watching a coexist sticker on the back of cars everywhere. That's where we come from. All of the ancient teachings, especially over the last thousand years, come from all the different areas of the world that you are seeing on the news today that they're trying to divide with. Whether it's the... I'll go to the Arabs first. 
in their astrology, the Kabbalah, the mysticism, what the Knights Templar got, what the Rosicrucians got, and how they put it all together. All of this stuff is one. It's not segregated. So it's so weird that every religion, if you do this, you are the, div the d demonic one, even though you're taking and using and loving all of the religions around the world and taking all the teachings, but also combining it with the divine art, the divine science, and connecting it with the true divine purpose that's right in front of our face in the sky every night, that's in the understandings of the most powerful life force that there is to the divine creator that's beyond the etheric, that's beyond the celestial, that's beyond the super celestial. And this is a very important time for the spiritual community. And I warned in 2020, go watch my 2020 Conscious Life Expo in February of 2020 when I called this out. And I said that, that they're coming after the spiritual community that the events that will take place from Saturn Pluto of 2020, the end goal is to take us out. That's the main people. And this isn't about fighting them back. This isn't about doing it. It is about complete opposite. This is about all of us supporting one another and reminding people to not be in hate, to remind people to not be in judgment. The South Node in Libra makes it so easy. All you're seeing is the judgment of God is here. And then you see people on the right thinking the judgment of God and the reason why all the people are coming across the borders, they're really working for the military and they're really going to take out every judge and they're going to take out the governments. And then, they're, you know, and then on the left, it's like all the judgment of this is the country doing bad and evil and this country's great and that, that religion's good and that one's bad. And, that, and then the same thing on the right. And it's like, that is all wrong. That's all wrong. I'm not going to lie. I wish I could say the, 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 I mean, I said the positive. This is about regenerating the power of our greatness that we can bring into this reality, the positivity and not let dark thoughts or get sucked up into crazy, psychotic religious media. Now just Put a different church anywhere around the world underneath MSNBC or CNN or Fox News or any of your major broadcasting aspects. That's how you have to look at it now. It's not about left or right anymore. It's religious now. It, it went up to Pisces world. And... The hard part, to, because, you know, as an astrologer, you got to give that real shit. This Mercury, Mars opposite Jupiter, while there's a lunar eclipse. We're, we're watching most of the world fall into the trap with the Sessi Quadrant here to Neptune and get sucked into that with Jupiter that's already in Sessi semi-square over to Neptune that's in opposition to Mars and Mercury. They are excited for these atrocities they're wanting to see them happen secretly they like it they're fighting for which side's gonna win which side's better now venus of course in virgo makes this even harder as well because it's at its fall position we're not going to see the trine from venus to uranus here for the next couple days i mean venus just finally got back to at least doing a degree yeah doing 101 it's not full speed yet don't i need to talk to astro gold get them to you know like fast okay like i think we should start changing some basic terms here to like fast okay sure it's not it's not at full speed like look at mars 41 minutes that's a fast that's a that's truly mars mercury that's pretty good 
Mar mercury can go up to over two minutes, two degrees in a day. And it's very rare, but, you know, when it happens, it happens fast. We're already seeing the sun increase, right? Because we're in the fall. And everything's starting to turn on. But that Saturn ain't going to turn on until the 4th. And so if you're having troubles in your life right now, I just want to remind you that this is about not giving up, not having a negative attitude, not believing that you're going to be in a destructive place in your life and it's all coming to fall down with this Jupiter retrograde in Taurus and this Mercury Mars in opposition in Scorpio. Do not get lost into that, especially this Jupiter's lost. Jupiter might be in Taurus, but it's also with Uranus and it's unfortunately this lunar eclipse. What is it being disposited? Well, if the south node's in Libra, that's Venus and Venus is in Virgo and it's fall position and then all this energy in Taurus is dispositing Venus and it's at fall and the south node's in Libra. And so it's going to look like the dark's going to take over. And you know how you know it's dark? Because all you see right now are all the religions claiming that they're of the light when they're doing the darkest shit all over the world. So this, this isn't a battle. This isn't a war. This is who's falling for it and who's not. There is no agenda to be spiritual. We follow the divine and we understand it and we evolve our consciousness for the best of, hu of humanity. We study, we do our teachings, and we love all people. And we don't think people go to hell. We don't pe think people go to you know, eternal damnation by what, re what religion they're into or that they do, they're not, you know, oh, they're not going to some deity. I can't believe it. It'd be like so crazy. Don't forget with Eris, it's strife and discourse and it's, it's done in a way that is so opposite of Lilith. Like she does it because she doesn't feel invited, but she gets a thrill out of it. And it deals with the Trojan horse. And we're dealing with a massive Trojan horse coming in right now. And playing on where people feel victim. And that could be from their religion to their money, to the economy, to wanting to have something where they wouldn't take action, but they'll give the energy away to have others take the action for them that won't do it at all the way that you want to, which is the whole Chiron and Aries thing. I mean, go back to the last Chiron Aries. Remember, Chiron wasn't even found until 1977. So the last Chiron and Aries at the end of the 69, right? Through the 70s, right before it was found in Taurus. Uh, Oh, we're going to get rid of inflation. We're going to do this. And they didn't do any of that. Oh, we're going to, don't worry. We're not going to do this Vietnam War thing a lot. Pfft. We're not going to do this. We're not going to do that. They did everything and more. We're going to make sure that you like shag carpet. We're going to make sure that you drive cars that blow up like the Gremlin and the fucking AMC Pacer and the fucking Ford fucking Pinto that look like Tesla's. We're going to sell you crap. We're going to make you enjoy crap. And that it's okay. And that means draft energy is coming. And you mix this Uranus at the position it's at. It might take a minute. But don't you dare think it's not happening or coming. Even with Pluto. And I think that's the the big dog to, for us to pay attention to in Capricorn and it's dispositing Saturn and it's getting a lot of power from the Sun, Mercury, Mars, right? But Saturn's way offline here, but at the same time, zero degrees, the most potent degree of any sign. So it's pure, unfiltered Pisces, crazy, neurotic, deceptive, religious, lost. Like, like hypomanic, religious craziness with no control 
that Saturn's trying to control and it can't because Neptune's in there and Neptune's has its grip all over everything if you actually really want to start using some fun dispositing energy. So don't get lost in the chaos. It's really easy. Don't be part of that chaos. Don't 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 fall for this one. This is th this makes this makes the people who believe there was COVID look like okay, like like little kids. Like the people who fall for this look like are you human anymore? And I already thought we already all thought that about the whole people who fell for the COVID thing. So I'm not somebody who is here to tell you to prepare and try and sell you some fucking emergency food and you can figure that shit out. It's North Node Aries. Whatever you got to do, you'll feel, you'll know what to do. But don't forget too, the other sussy quadrant that's happening is Venus at 18 degrees here to right there to that North Node and to that Aries another 135 coming up so you know i just i just want to be honest with you all this is not a this is, if you're still stuck in this timeline that you think is going to change it's it's never going back and it's beyond psycho don't don't get lost in it don't buy a part in it and and this is where all of us have to drop affiliations with everything that this reality has. If Timothy Leary were here, which I wish he was, like tune in and drop out. Drop out. Of the political sides, because they're coming here for us. Of the religious sides, they're coming for us. The science sides, they're coming for us. And come back to the magical roots of all of it. What is the root of religion? These divine sciences and practices. What's the root of all the medical? The root of all the scientific? The divine, alchemical, and the occult practices. What's the divine root of everything here? Creator. The divine practices. And nobody wants to do this root canal right now. Everybody just wants to just keep trying to put some fucking toothpaste on top of a cavity that's already fucking inflamed and it's already fucking got the root exposed and it's already infected and thinking that just keep putting white toothpaste on nobody will see it and maybe it'll go away. That's what most people are doing right now. Even Venus is in semi-square to this fucking craziness that's happening in Scorpio. So, it's separating by the sun, but, I, you know, I just, everywhere I look, I look at this chart and I go, oh shit. This is the oh shit chart. Not, not a nice chart. On Sunday, you have to remember every every. Uh, this is crazy. This is when we're going to start to see Mars, Mercury at twelve degrees. Mercury will already have passed Mars, and that Moon's going to still be in Taurus and conjunct the World War Two degree retrograde of Uranus. Still in a full moon with the tinglings of a lunar eclipse still happening. And we haven't seen the gauntlet until Saturn stations direct. And that will be the gauntlet in November 4th. 
and trying to find stability right now, that's within your own personal life and your divine work. This is a great time to study on your divine work, to study history, to study how did all these practices come into be? This is definitely time to get back to the roots, the roots of all the roots that look like they are all separated, but it's all one tree. You know, I, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I, I, you know, I, I feel pretty lucky that I, I'm, I'm, I'm of the Pluto Libra generation. So I, I got to experience to go do LSD and to go many times and go tune in and drop out at the end of that wave. Um, so for me to deprogram out of that reality we see today uh, has been a blessing. But to to see how that's not something that you just go seek it either happens to you or not you know you have to have compassion right now and you have to have empathy that we have a lot of lost souls and and you can't just run around and force people to change people we all came here to witness uh a majority of this whole earth fuck up and not judge them and be there for them and hold our hand out no matter how crazy they go off the rails here. You have to remember they've been programmed. They never did jump over the bridge. They never did redefine this soul experience as the true soul. They didn't do it. It's okay. So anytime that you have anger or resentment or fears about these things that will unfold and are unfolding now, you have to remember that we came here to bear witness of it and we came here to assist without judgment and remember that there has been a disgusting takeover of a majority of the whole populace of the earth. We're not here to purify. If you hear anybody starting to say that word, they're, hit, they're, they're Nazis. You're seeing Christians saying it like crazy right now. Just like Hitler did. You know, they're all go look up Nazi propaganda of what a family was supposed to be like and having your kids as your quiver and requiring four kids for all SS officers and families. Most people don't want to look at what's happening right now. If I have to show it to people, I will. I really don't care. I'm going to show it. This is what they want you to look like, okay? You're going to start seeing all this all over again. It really looks like what's happening right now. But you can't use that it's going to be the same exact thing. Now you got to inverse it. Now you got to inverse it into all this crazy shit.
See how there's four kids? And again, I'm, I'm not here to judge anybody because they're lost. But especially the Christians. You all know that I lean right politically. But I can't be part of any political side. And, and I only really took that precedent in 2015 when I saw the astrology and knew that it would run its course. But because I knew whatever I can do to stay free, that's why I was very vocal about, number one, I predicted all this shit that would happen. I told you that a fake plague was coming. I told you a fucking anything that they try to tell you to do is going to fucking be a shattered reality. And now I'm here telling you right now, this isn't political. I only took that side because I was going to pick the side of freedom. Now there is no freedom on either side. Now they're all funneling it. All, all political has now crossed boundaries. Like it always has through history. The King of England is the head of the church of England. Don't forget that all these countries around the world are connected to their religion as their head of state and then their head of their fucking religion. And so I don't want no part of that. And it's sad. I just witnessed and I'm blocked, so I can't even show you. But all these Christian channels now are calling astrologers demonic and that they were ex-astrologers who are now Christians. And they're saying that it's unpure and that we, they need to be purified by hell. Okay. And when you go and you look, all the people of the conservative right that people look up to, I know, for freedom out there, love it. Now, I'm not crying about it because I already knew that shit was going to happen. I've been saying that. If you're on High Vibe, you know I've been saying it in all my weekly shows for a long time, that this is what was coming. And then you see the left doing the same thing. They're picking their religious side. So I'm just saying, like, are we as astrologers and people in the metaphysical world and the spiritual world just going to fucking go through another moment like Salem or go through another moment and, and, you know, it's like, all I have to do is go. Just, just go look at it. See, most astrology conferences were held in Nazi Germany until 1934, when the Nazis officially banned fortune telling. This made the publication of any almanacs and astrological journals illegal. What do you think's coming? What do you think all this stuff with the, with, if you're still on YouTube and you think you're going to keep getting your information here or rumble, like the, the only, the only person I really trust out there in the, in the fucking social media world are the people that are, you can't even watch them. David Icke is the main one. That's it. That's who I pretty much who I only trust. You know why? Cause his message hasn't changed. You think Russell Brand is some freedom spiritual worker that guy's fucking a plant they're all plants because at the end of the day they're gonna he's gonna turn on the spiritual community and be christian or whatever when they start throwing out all this shit and all the all the astrologers who got arrested during those times especially in 1941 they actually did a full act right that fucking
It's horrible. So, occultists like Freemasons are among those harassed and vilified by most national socialists while the Nazi state persecuted astrologers. Rudolf Hess and Heinrich Himmler consulted them at the same time too and pulled them out of the prison, consulted them, then threw them back into the fucking prisons. So, it's happening. Hitler had very few astrologers. I worked with Discovery Channel and I worked with documents that got unclassified in, about an American Nazi um, place in LA where the where you now see the Getty was supposed to be a Nazi party fucking building. And I did the show and there was only three astrologers that didn't get persecuted that, that were used by Hitler. The rest all were thrown in. I did the show and then the pandemic hit. And so that show never made it to air. It's still in the fucking, it's all edited. It's all done with discovery. And the guy who produced it is in Australia and got stuck into the Australian world where you can't go anywhere or do anything and they wouldn't take meetings with them. And of course, three and a half years later. So no, if you want some truth, look up the history. So, and no, like this, this wasn't a horoscope sermon. This is just a horoscope of facts and predicting. And I've been warning, I've been warning you all of this, but if you're thinking Rumble's going to save the, the day or any of those places, or you think you're, you think you're still going to be cool on fucking YouTube with all this shit here with what's happening. And I would give it six months till the next set of eclipses. You, you're going to. They're around. What do you think's happening in Canada in November? Oh, all the podcasters that over $10 million make, right, have to register. Well, that means if you're a podcaster on YouTube, what does YouTube do? Oh, they make over $10 million. You have to, you have to register and they secretly register you. I know because I own an app. So you got to stay under that $10 million. You better be on your own platform and your own network because anybody out there who's doing it is going to have to say and do exactly what all these governments are going to tell you to do. So, if you're like, I'm just going to keep watching this, this, you know, and we're at a time where it's like, do whatever you want. I'm not going to tell you what to do. But if you really wanted some advice, stop watching these petty like like where's my love this week and da, 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 da. this is a time to take this shit fucking serious if you're really doing the light work you're doing the light work if you're gonna fall in love it's because you're doing the light work simple answer okay if you can't find love and you feel like you're doing the light work you're not doing the light work you're more focused on that you're putting that before the light work okay So, like, this is a time for you to go do some real deep research, some positive affirmations, some positive beliefs, and knowing what is your talent. What do you have to bring to the table? And if you're still hiding behind your computer and behind your phone, you need to find a way to stop hiding. You know? I, I think people seem to forget in the world, you know, and unfortunately, it was back in 2018, the last United Astrology Conference. You know, there was 3,000 people there. That's a lot. That, that's the, the professional astrologers in the world as of 2018. 3,000? We're a very small group of people. Very small. But they always come after us the hardest. The science community and the religious. And now they're both 
intertwined like you've never believed because they're both playing the arms of both sides. And there is no savior, okay? Right? There is no savior that's saving you and people might think that's so depressing, but it's actually the opposite. What's more depressing is people believing that Q or the story of the same person that's born on December 25th and is risen again every three days after and is born of a virgin and all the fucking spiritual practices for thousands of years even prior to Jesus. The people think that's saving them. What's saving us is that we are all together the savior of the collective. Period. That don't fall for the dark forces that are trying and not even trying anymore. They already have three fourths of the whole world under their spell. I feel like I'm fucking like the guy in they like in in a they live or whatever fucking like with my glasses on like i don't care if people think i'm crazy you know here Kraft's proclamation of ex exacting ast astrological rules managed to convince the Gestapo that astrology enabled its practitioners to make accurate forecasts of future events, resulting in now being employed by the Nazi propaganda ministry, the SS, and even the Forest Office to carry out astrological studies of political nature. After his release, he was summoned to the Reich propaganda ministry run by Joseph Goebbels. Goebbels had recently taken to pouring over Nostradamus, trying to squeeze propaganda from the prophecies for them to say that they were going to win, right? Kraft, he, the, so when you talk about all oh, the astrologers work to them, yeah, uh, a couple. And they had to run it under propaganda, okay? So they're not doing a horoscope. In the spring of 1940, he gave a private horoscope reading to Hitler to an aide, but he never met his leader. And then, of course, if you know the story of him, they used the British used him. He went over. And then, boom, Kraft was arrested on June 12th, 1941, as part of the crackdown on astrologers, faith healers, and occultists following Rudolf Hell's flight to, Brit to, to Scotland, where he was released in 1943 and sent back to propaganda work. But the integrity of his forecast soon told against him. And Kraft's bitter complaints at the demeaning work he was expected to do led to his rearrest in 1944 he was held in poor conditions caught typhus fever and eventually died april 8th or january 8th of 1945 en route to the fucking concentration camp don't forget that astrologers ended up in concentration camp so i just am putting the reminder out there take this shit serious now don't be just thinking this is just um, um that won't happen Do a great assessment of the last coming up now four years. That won't happen. Oh, it did happen. That won't happen. Oh, it did happen. That won't happen. Oh, it did happen. Even three weeks ago. Oh, that won't happen. It won't go that much farther. They won't do it. Oh, that happened. It's happening as we're talking right now. Oh, America won't attack Iranian stuff. Oh, it just fucking happened. So, especially if you are a light worker out there, like, and you're just still in la-la land right now, like, wake up. It's time for you to get your fucking moon and Taurus on and, and understand all this Scorpio and get to the honest truth. Like, we're here to participate and watch humanity and the collective get sucked up, fail, try to destroy each other so they can finally understand the roots of all their religious, all the deception, all of it, without judgment.
this out. All right, what do we got? The Six of Cups in reversed. Ooh. It's not a safe, easy place that makes you feel comfortable right now, or it's not the place that feels very of brotherly and sister love. It is definitely not feeling like a safe space. I always look at this card as a safe space and a very, you know, enjoyable space where it's light energy. It's, of course, with children. It's an energy of being in the garden where there's a comfort. There's a, there's a place to finally regain your emotional place. So it's easy for people to fall off a cliff right now and not feel like there's a safe space when there really is. This is time for us to connect again in person with other fellow light workers. This is where you don't respond back to some crazy fucking Decepticon decepted out religious people who are going to start calling you fucking a demon. And this is where you just ignore them. Don't meet with your true brothers and sisters right now that are, we're not here to hate. We're not here to feed their deceptions. King of Wands of Right. Yeah, you know, this isn't, you know what the safest place is when you're living truly and authentically in the truth of what the heart is and the truth of what the soul is. And you know, what's the absolute truth in life? Just fully embodying your heart and your expression. That's not programmed through what you were attached to or what belief system was forced into you. What you seeked on your own and what you did with your own heart. So many people get convinced. So many people are, are forced and approached. What's the number one lesson if you're a psychic out there and you're at a mall? You just don't go up to some random person and say, I need to tell you something. No. If you do readings, whether you're in psychic work, whether you're an astrologer, a tarot reader, a medium, you have to be asked. It's the number one. That's the golden rule, right? It's the golden rule. Why is it that every religion on this planet does the opposite? They knock on your doors. They send people on mission work to go knock on your door and convince you. We don't do that. If anything, good luck trying to find us in the middle of the woods while we're doing our alchemy and fucking talking to fucking the divine and figuring out ways to use art and to use the human nature to express it in a way that people can decode and figure out on their own. Because it's pretty simple. It's all around us. So, I wish you all the best. I Again, positive, Use that regeneration energy to regenerate your positive and the beautiful things that you came here to do, but also remember that you came here to witness psychoness and to be the one without judgment. And it's going to feel like forever till people start in their psycho state, start coming over and asking for assistance and we'll be there for assistance to pull them out of that. That's why we're here. It's not, we're not here to be saviors. We're not here to judge we're not here to do some crazy fucking war that's all part of the dark shit we're here to help and assist many souls without judgment and we're not here to blame and you know what if you're really a light worker if you end up in jail because of this shit You'll make it through. You'll figure a way out. I'm prepared for that. It's part of our history. John D. was arrested in 1555. 
because Mary Tudor, the queen at the time, thought he was somebody where he had gone to their house and he was doing some charts and he was doing charts of also Elizabeth I. But somebody there, their kid had some problem and they thought that John Dee used his magic and the spirits attacked that, that guy's kid when it didn't. He went on trial, he held his own, and then Elizabeth became queen. And guess what? She was like, you're going to be my number one counsel. So, and, and you know, she was a Pluto Aquarius. So we have to remember that like we have this really old guard that is doing everything it can to hold on. And that includes especially the religious. And then unfortunately in our own spiritual community, we have that old guard that can't let go either so there's a lot of people in our spiritual community who have already picked a side too and they're running their mouths and doing some weird shit and whatever like i have compassion for them they're old they didn't get it they're trying to get attention now and it's not going to fulfill them in the end of their day you know so, whatever it takes, though, you know, but don't, don't forget that astrologers, occultists, and faith healers were with the Jews, with the gays, with the Gentiles at the camps. And we don't get representation at all. Zero. Never will. And that's not our job to let this Chiron and Aries make us feel like, oh my God, we need representation. We're above that shit. There's been plenty of people who look to the stars who get their heads chopped off. That's the reality. So if you got into this field and you're like, this is too much, you should have done your history before you got into it. The most repressed job. And let's not forget, if you're somebody who's triggered from this, who is Jesus defending the most? The prostitutes, the astrologers, the wise men. Do you really think that America is a quote-unquote Christian nation built by Masons who made Roman and brought back the Freemason and the idea of rebuilding the Roman columns and the Roman ways? When, If you really understand the Roman understanding, the last thing that Jesus would want would be to look up. He would have a panic attack. If he saw the White House, he'd have a panic attack thinking he was back in Rome. Okay? Go I, I, on high vibe. Go watch. Go watch my Leo King live with your sun sign horoscopes this week because I show you all of Washington and my tours there and all that. And there's nothing about Jesus anywhere. Nothing. Masons, yeah. Astrologers, occultists, yeah. Go look. Go look at the Senate. Go look in the Capitol. Go look at all that shit. Go look at the fucking Egyptian shit there. There is nothing about Jesus Christ anywhere. Okay, anywhere. There is no centralized church in America. There is no connection to a church. So there's going to be everybody trying to tell you that this is a Christian nation. This is a, a nation that's based off all religions and everybody's allowed to express their religion. And religious faith is, is more than because you're a part of a church. It's what the Quakers proved. of the light. You know, I know where light work comes from. Go, go do your history. It's getting, it's getting old. Having everybody talk it, but not knowing the history. It's getting old. You know, like this is your time to shore up on the understanding. So you know what you're going to be dealing with. Cause if you're just going to go in, like I'm just a light worker and the Palladians are saving me and they're going to protect me without you understanding what it is. If you gotta, if you're going to activate, your helix and all your DNA, you need to activate the history. You need to activate your line. You need to activate all of your ancestry. You got to activate. You want to start doing the work, do the work.
you know, go watch some Timothy Leary videos if you don't know how to deprogram yourself. You know, don't get trapped in this Neptune Jupiter semi square <sighs> with Mars and Mercury in that Sessi quadrant. And uh, everywhere, uh, these are all. This is this is where the belly of the darkest force opposite of the divine creator is just sucking the souls out of people while them make, making them feel like they're being connected into the irony of some sort of demonstrous war soul place they're being fed on. Much love. Make sure you're on high vibe. You want, if you want the, if you want, you know, I don't have to say anything. You know, you know where the good shit is. You know where I'm going to give you the truth. I'm not going to bullshit you. You know why? Because I'm not, I'm not rippling any feathers because I'm not saying anything that they're saying out there. All, everybody's lost in that fucking bullshit out there. So have, have fun out there. Stop getting lost into it's all propaganda. Even like, oh, this is this, and this is the Jews, and this is the this is what really is Palestine. This is really what the Jews and the, like all of it. This is propaganda to try and make you f f pick a side and hate on each other and do all this shit and get caught up in anti-Semitism and get caught up in fucking, you know, hating every Muslim and hating. And this is just not the way. Okay, it's not the way. Not light work at all. Period. Okay? Don't become an anti-Semitic and just start fucking going out there and being like, well, Jews run the world and stay stupid shit like that. I can't. It's just like you're, you're programmed. Or start saying, well, look at the terrorists and look at that. It's like you're programmed. We are all the blood of all of these peoples. Okay? We are all the humans on the planet. It's very obvious that there is a force that is trying to divide more than ever right now. That the ripple is beyond. Okay? The tear is bigger than you could even fathom and all the things that are coming in here trying to disturb this force right now. And, and don't go down those conspiracy trails like these people are going to rule these people rule the world and this family and that thing and look at the understanding of the spirit and the spirits right that's what it is like it's not get, stop getting lost in the physical of who who done it you're just going to play clue all day and think well it's this country with the candlestick against the you know like and, and that's the, okay you're going to be playing clue and you're not going to get it. And you're going to be looking in your envelope and being like, oh, that's not it. Let's try and play again. And the play again. And it's none of them. So, you know, I don't know how to say it any clearer. You know, and guess what if I get canceled again by any side then I get canceled whatever <laughs> I haven't been afraid of been canceled before the fact the fact that you could get canceled for saying things like that where I'm actually saying no don't follow both those ways that you're that are horrible to other humans. That gets canceled now. This is definitely not a time to. You know, I have a moon in Taurus. I know when it's fucking serious. That's the exalt exaltation of the moon. I know when it feels off. 
I know when the ground is shaky as fuck. I know when the universal energy is not in alignment with Gaia, the true Gaia. Okay? I feel it. Like that's why, but I'm an astrologer. I need the confirmation from the divine. Okay. So, you know, and I wish I could do spiritual dance music at this moment, but this is the time for people to really take this time and do the research and get close with your family, get close with your friends and love all people. I'm not going to throw you some military prep bullshit. You're already prepped as a fucking soul. Okay. And I have to tend to my family. And it's been a lot to, to keep this network alive and to keep truth alive and to do the work and the study and to to, to keep a platform alive because guess what? You all are going to have to jump to this platform eventually that are out there on YouTube and to where people that want to do this work too has a place to host their content and do it. That's always been the plan. I've told you this all since 20 fucking 18. And then in 2017, I told you it too, but it was in 2018 when I was like, yo, listen up. So, you're not going to be able to do it. Y you really think the Republicans are going to help you? You really think the, the, the Democrats are going to help you? No, because they're, they're going to pick up, they're going to pick a religious side. And because they also know that astrology connects to Hindus, Arabs, Jews, Christians, like it, 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 it's too much of a, uh oh, no, that connects with one, one side we're not on a team with. I don't see that people don't get it. So. Well, it's pretty easy to join High Vibe. You just go to highvibe.tv or download the app and subscribe. It's pretty easy. It's a completely different place than it was in 2018. It's, it, it's, it's been the biggest work I've ever done in my life. Ask anybody in here if you're in, on YouTube. It, it's just like YouTube, even better. It does more than YouTube. And it has a full community, and you're in web, and you're on profile, and it and and it does live streams, and it has every other little aspect you can even think of in there. It's not some cheap thing. I'm a moon and Taurus. You really think I'd make some cheap ass shit? And don't download High Viber. That's whatever his name is, and I'll just be nice to him, I'm trying to style bite and copy and make a fake ass fucking app. That's just some basic fucking white label app that he spends like a hundred bucks a month on Aaron Dottie. So I appreciate you all much love. Stay good and have no fear. That's what they eat on. Bye-bye.